Good morning, guys. On this bright Wednesday morning. But don't let the sun fool you because it's 31 degrees out right now. Look, I got my porch cleaned up. I moved the grill over here. So everything's put away except this. This will be last to go because my husband likes to sit here and smoke a cigar and rock. Um, so we'll put that in the garage before the snow flies, hopefully. But everything's cleaned off. Yes. Um, we still have our um, chairs sitting around the fire pit because we still have a fire every now and then. Just gotta have it blazing. We're running out of wood. I don't know if I, if you guys could see in any of my videos how tall this was, but that's what we have left. So if we're gonna have any more big fires, we're gonna have to order some more wood. Um, I'm thinking about taking down the lattice over here. By the, as, as a subscriber said, the Berlin Wall for schnauzers. <laughs> he called it the Berlin Wall. <laughs> um, since I have this fencing up now, and the boys can't get in there, they haven't got in there, I think I'm going to take this lattice down so it's not so obvious there's an issue over here. <laughs> Because from in the house, you can't really see this fencing, but you can really see that. So I think I'm going to take that down today. And my husband ordered a, um, a fleece for the boys. He just ordered one in a medium uh, for the boys to have on in the cold out here. Because they have their coats, but something for maybe when it's cold out. Um, it does have a little hook on it. So you could hook their leash up to it if you wanted to, if you wanted them to wear it on a walk. Oh, my, sorry, Miggy's, Miggy's going potty. We don't want to show that, but um, sorry for the noise, guys. They're doing some work. Sounds like they're doing some work over in the park across the street uh, behind the house, and it's really loud. Hopefully you can hear me over it. But um, anyway, so he ordered that, and it's coming today. He just ordered one. Um, to see if it even fits. We'll see if we got the right size. I don't know. I was surprised he ordered it. I came outside. He was sitting on the deck and he said, I ordered the boys a sweater. <laughs> I said, you did? What's it look like? And what size did you get? So, um, so anyways, that's coming today. So we'll have to see how that fits. And I think I'm going to finally, um, groom Mozzie. He, we took him on a walk the other day. And our walks, look at look how fuzzy he is. I think this is the fuzziest you've ever been. Yeah, I think that's the fuzziest he's ever been. Maybe not, maybe not. But uh, I think I'm gonna give him a bath. Like I said, we took him on a walk uh, yesterday. Sorry, I'm shivering, guys. <laughs> I don't know how these guys aren't shivering. I'm, I have a winter coat on, I'm shivering. But uh, took him on a walk, and our walks, when we walk the boys are about, almost a mile so he went on a pretty good walk um and he had no problems he had no problems afterwards so i think i'm gonna give him a bath today and get him groomed as long as my shoulder i pulled a muscle or something in my shoulder my right shoulder of course i'm right-handed um and it just bothered me so much yesterday um so hopefully as long as as the day progresses I may groom him today, may, depending on how it feels, maybe tomorrow, so we'll see. But And I also got some mail I wanted to share with you guys too, so I'll do that when I go inside. So let's go pick up the landmines. <laughs> Alright guys, we're in the warm house now. <laughs> it is so, uh, so cold out. Um, I wanted to thank someone who sent me an email. I got an email from a subscriber who informed me of the informed delivery service from the post office. So I don't have to just guess when I have a package now at my PO box. I can actually, I've signed up and now I can look online and see if I have a package or mail. So I don't have to run there unnecessarily. So thank you so much for that email and telling me about that. Okay, so uh, the first thing I got in the mail was this happy Halloween Look at that Halloween costume. Look at that face. <laughs> it 
This is from Doc the Schnauzer on Instagram. Isn't he the cutest? Okay, so we got that in the mail. Thank you. Um, and then I got a letter from Sadie. Thank you so much for the letter. I'll be writing you back. And then a card with a picture of her girl, Princess. She's 10 years old. And she also sent a $20 donation. I'm assuming it's a donation for the emergency fund. That's where it's going. Um, and it says, thank you for every video that makes my day. Sadie, thank you so much. And princess is beautiful. Just beautiful. Um, and then, uh, we got a package from Aaron. I'm a, I'm assuming it's the same Aaron who sent the uh, sorry, I'm looking at Marley over here sniffing my garbage can. <laughs> I didn't know what the noise was. He's making a weird noise sniffing the garbage can. They never try to knock it over. They never try to get into it, but they sniff it. I'm assuming it's the same Erin who sent the Halloween toys and the um, Halloween treats, but she also sent these. Oh, let me put the top back on so I don't tip the treats out. Um, these cookies from... Bone Bonds Gourmet Dog Cookies. And these are on Amazon. So if you type in Bone Bonds Gourmet Dog Cookies, you will find these. They're grain free. Um, let me let me open the package up. It's in this cute little uh, red and white box here. I haven't given them one yet. Okay. These gourmet dog cookies. <laughs> Aren't they the cutest? They're like in these little uh, cupcake liners. Here's this one here. Little paw prints. I used to do these when I made dog cookies and I used to sell them. I used to make, they're bigger though, uh, paw prints and then I'd put some icing on them to make the little paw prints. So let me go give one to the boys and see how they like them. All right, let's give them a treat. I'm gonna give Max a little one because I'm not sure. Let me see if I can read the bottom. I'm not sure how much fat are in these. It also says to refrigerate, it says refrigerate after opening or store open air. So I'm assuming with the lid off. Not sure though. Okay, um, so I'm gonna give Max a little one. And uh, here's the little one. It's a little doggy bone with some icing on it. Okay, Max, there you go. We'll give Magnum this one here. I'm sure there's gonna be crumbs on this bed now. Miggy, you want this one? Here's here's Miggy's. There you go. Okay, Mazzy, you want a little paw print? You want a paw print? I'm gonna give Marley this one with, I'm not sure what if this is what's on top of this. That's little pieces of nut. Got to chew it. You just can't swallow it. <laughs> Hopefully you guys can see everybody. I'm trying not to show myself because I have not showered yet, nor am I out of my PJs. Okay, let's see if there's more treats on the bottom and if they look any different. Let me... Oh, no. There are some more on the bottom. And they're about the same too. Boy, they like those. They're really good at crunchy, so it's taking them a while to eat them. That's good. Especially those uh, big ones. I've decided to, I'm not going to, um, I don't think I'm going to groom Mozzie today, even though he's turning into a fuzzy butt. He's, he still looks cute. He's not too bad right now. I think I'm going to wait just another day for me, for my shoulder and for him just to make sure he is going down today to um one pill a day for a week um on the steroids and then he'll go after that week to one every other day and then he'll be off him and hopefully once he's off him he don't show any more signs of having problems with his back so we'll have to wait and see so he's got another two weeks with his uh steroid um i also wanted to mention too let me see if i can turn this whoops I'm hitting dog houses over here. Somebody asked how this uh, chair worked out uh, when I groomed them, the other four boys. 
I love it and wish I had one sooner. Now there are certain things when I'm grooming them, like their, um, their back and sides and stuff. I still, it's, it's easier to stand up for that. But when I'm trimming their legs or their belly, um, their face, it is so nice to have that chair to be able to sit down and not be on my feet the whole entire time. That, when I groomed these boys, I did all four of them, of course, minus Mozzie, um, in one day. And it made it so much better for my feet <laughs> and for my back. So, all right, so Erin, thank you for the doggy treats. They love them. Hopefully there's not too many crumbs on my bed. Looks like they got pretty much all of them. Um, so we'll be back when I get that. I'm gonna go take a shower, try to get myself presentable, and we will be back when that fleece comes and we will uh, try it on the boys and see um, if it's gonna fit them. And if so, we'll order four more. So we'll be back. Okay guys, we're back. And we got the fleece that my husband ordered and it's a tad too small. <laughs> I put it on Miggy because he's the smaller, a uh, little bit smaller frame of all the boys. And um, yeah, it's a tad too small. <laughs> it was really tight. So there, this is a medium. They're going to need a large or extra large. Let me bring it up close. Okay. Um, here it is. It's gray. And you couldn't tell in the photo on Amazon, but it's got a little pink thing here um, with the uh, thing where you can hook your dog leash which I don't mind the pink, but I think you can buy different colors. I don't think my husband looked, um, but it's tattoo small. It's made by Gooby. I don't know if it's Gooby Gooby or if it's just Gooby, <laughs> but I'll link it in the description box below, but it's really nice. And if it was the right size, it would fit really nice to them. This wouldn't be too big. Um, Cause you know, you buy sweaters sometimes they slide down their neck and, so we're gonna have to measure the boys tonight because uh, i think there was a size chart on there because they usually have you measure uh the chest and then from the back of the neck down to the tail i believe so we're gonna have to measure them tonight to um hopefully we can exchange this and get the right size so and i think these were 12.99 hopefully we can exchange it I'm hoping, and we will exchange it just for one, and then when that new one comes, um, try it on all the boys, and then if we still like it, go ahead and buy the other four. Um, here's their, um, I wanted to get this out. This is their dog coat for those who may be new to the channel, because this we just figured we'd have for days it's chilly, but not real cold. These are their dog coats we have. We got these at PetSmart a while ago. And it has the harness piece here. You you zip it on them, and then there's the harness here. You clip it together, and then you hook the dog leash to it. So they're a little bit more secure in this doggy coat. So this is what we'll use on cold days and kind of chilly days. But I don't know if we'll walk them in this one. I'm not sure. The um, little tag thing where the um, pieces where you can hook your leash, it seems... Like it's connected really good, but Mickey and Magnum like to pull sometimes on walks, so not sure how well it'll um, stand up to that. We'll have to see. And uh, if we can find one that fits them right, the right size. And I don't know if this will, if they pull, if this will slide off them or not. So I'm not sure if we will be walking them in these. It may just be for when they go outside. Um, I also wanted to share, hold on guys. Oh, it's my, it's my son making noise. He's outside cleaning this car. He got a new job. Um, as you guys know, he graduated last year. He's 18. Um, he was working with my daughter for a little bit, but he wasn't getting many hours and he just got hired in doing security at one of the, um, jam plants here in Flint. So He's really happy and he's making good money for an 18 year old. Um, I think he's making 11 25 an hour. Um, plus he got eight hours overtime. So he's excited um, with the money he's gonna be bringing home. I'm not sure if my son's gonna be one that um, is gonna go to college or not, but uh, he's doing really good and I'm really proud of him for uh, getting this job and he, he seems to really like it. So. 
maybe he can get in good with some of the um, higher ups at GM and maybe he can get a GM job. We'll see. <laughs> Anyways, that was sidetrack. Um, I also wanted to show this toy I got. I found this at TJ Maxx for $9.99. It's called, I believe it's called Hide a Squirrel. Um, it has these three holes and then it comes with these three squirrels. And they have, all the squirrels have squeakies in them. Here come my dogs running. <laughs> and they can pull them out. Uh, my dogs like to just stick their face. They like to get the squirrels out and then just stick their face in the holes. <laughs> I think it's really funny. And then Marley, he just loves, he just loves the squirrel. He don't care about the little trunk thing here. He just likes the squirrels. But uh, Magnum takes it, he grabs it by this, usually this hole here, and he just flings it really hard and the squirrels go flying. <laughs> and I know one of these days he's gonna do that and I'm gonna have my wax warmer on over there and one of these squirrels is gonna fly into that wax and it's just gonna go everywhere. Um, but they really like this toy. They love to also, just when the squirrels are out of it, they, did I already say this? Just like to stick their face in the hole. Um, I don't know if I already said that. I repeat myself a lot, guys. They like to just stick their face in the hole. Even when nothing's uh, in there, it's funny. But, um, hold on, guys. Oh, I see. They're letting me know that. Letting me know the lady that lives about six houses down. She had two huge German shepherds and she's walking. And Magnum's having a fit. <laughs> Whenever we walk by that house, if those dogs are outside, the older one, um, you think he's gonna jump over the fence, but he can't because he's too old. Um, his back legs, he just can't, but he bounces it, and I think. And he puts his arms on top of the fence, and I think, oh my lord, if we would have lived here when he was. <laughs> a little younger he might have jumped over that fence who knows but oh my goodness that dog scares me all the time because his bark is just ferocious and he comes around that house you don't even know he's coming and he's just barking and he lunges at that fence and scares the death out of you <laughs> anyway so i just wanted to share this toy my dogs really like this toy i will put it in our amazon store because it is on amazon it's a little bit more than uh Costs a little bit more than what I paid for it at TJ Maxx. Or if you have a TJ Maxx, check it out because they also had um, Christmas ones. There was one with a Christmas house and then it had the holes and it had a, a I think it was a stuffed Santa, a snowman, and I think a reindeer. Um, I can't remember, but they had different um, styles of toys like this too. Um, so just thought I'd share that. Like my dogs need more toys, but you know, I'm a sucker. So <laughs> they really like this one. Okay. I got to get outside and take down that lattice. So we will see you guys later. Bye.